Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the new nation of Imperial Mexicano. So, so we're playing as Imperial Mexicano under the fabulous, bumbling leadership of uh, Maximilian. So, uh, yesterday, comments, let me think about that. Uh, the only thing regarding comments, I think, really from yesterday, besides trying to pronounce someone's name, which I'll get to in a little bit, was to... For, at least for me to talk about focuses, or at least let everyone see what the focuses descriptions are. So anyways, we're going to continue doing this. It is 2280, January 11th. Our father, our Mexican daddy, has unfortunately passed away. And we're in a war currently with our brother, Moctezuma. Now, uh, I want to talk about this just a little bit, just because I was reading the Reddit, and where Moctezuma comes alive, and just like Maximilian or Zapata, um, this is a bug in the game right now. That this wasn't supposed to be in. The, apparently the devs said that with this bug, it's already fixed when the, for the next update or the next hot fix that they bring out. So, uh, Moctezuma is not actually supposed to declare war on you immediately, but they have anyways. So, as you can tell, I've already made sure that we have enough divisions across the entire area on both sides of our borders against our former brothers, or I guess against our current brothers, even though they don't really like us. And we're going to have a good time with them and crush them. So, I try this a little bit... Earlier, later, I don't believe that Los Ejército Mexicano, also known as Santa Ana, I doubt he's going to attack me, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to read... Uh, actually, no, I don't want to use you. I don't want to redistribute my infantry, because I want to use robots against the guy down here. I think that would probably be for the best. Now, give me... You know what? I think it would be best if you give me half of you guys. Bolster the forces down here first, because we're at war with them. And Moctezuma's actually fighting everyone at once, which is, I would say, to be at least a little suicidal. Cool. Um, so yeah. Oh, the death of Tlaloc, the Empire of Mexico. Maximilian had a simple goal for his region of Tlalocan. Peace, order, and good government. Well, good government is defined by whatever you say is good. Maximilian banned slavery, promoted education, and built roads for his people. But he was remembered for mo most for was one of his greatest works, which was Peace and Prosperity. His friendly security force as well. Uh, I didn't know this, but apparently, uh, after a few days, you get a portion of the stockpile that you already built up. So we don't really need any more robots. Mr. Gutsies, we got 2.7 in the stockpile. I think we're doing okay. We're going to go with peace and prosperity because we could always use more civilian factories. So now we have to go with peace or order. I'll leave this on the screen for a few seconds. Shortly after coming online, Maximilian was forced to address peasant unrest in his territory. How did he choose to handle it? With uh, blood and iron, right? Oh wait, that's the wrong type of German I'm talking about there. Anyways, so we got that. We're going to put some more forces down south. That'll be good. We need some more um, army leaders here. Erza Barnes. Very, very Hispanic name. Erza Barnes. Barnes is very Hispanic. Totally Hispanic. Awesome. So, losses. Not too bad for us. Petro Chico's lost 68. Yeah, I wish this wasn't a bug, but... The faster we can conquer our brothers, the better I think we will be against Chichen Itza, because this is not looking good. Oh, and actually, Petro Chico's lost some land to these guys. Uh, wait. It's called in our ally against... Um, so they're fighting these guys. Okay, so, yeah, this, this is a terrible bug to have in the game. Regardless. Regardless. We're still going to advance. Because I want to make sure we take as much land as humanly possible, or as robotly, robotly as possible. So I'm going to send all but one division down that way. We have peace or order the peasant revolt. Shortly after Maximilian came online, he was faced with what he saw as a peasant revolt from communities who sought to drift from Tlaloc's orbit to the Republic of the Rio Grande. Maximilian wooed them back with concessions to the poor fellows or relying upon foreign mercenaries, which worked so well last time. I do not want to use foreign mercenaries. Look at that. Minus 60% recruitable population factor for what? 10% stability? No, 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 no. I'd rather lose 5% consumer goods for more stability, please. Thank you very much. Um, actually, send you guys this direction. Send one of you guys this way. And send one of you purple people this way. Cool. Yeah, go ahead and try to strike down this way. Get the next focus. I tried this a little bit yesterday. I definitely need more army XP so I can increase my division width and battalions in each one of those divisions. So far we're winning. I mean, no one can pierce each other because we're all using robots. And I'm pretty sure that we should be okay since... Moctezuma is fighting, like, everyone on all sides. So, I 
I feel okay about this. I'm feeling okay about it. Not bad, not bad. Um, since they're still injured, take all but you and come down this way. Go ahead and take that area as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, what are you guys up to? Someone's going this direction, huh? You don't need to go that direction. You need to help open up another front. Another front to that one battle. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. If you can get down there, that'd be cool. Go and help out here as well. And if you can go further south, I would appreciate it. Oh, and are we getting any XP? Yes, we are. Panzer leader and a mountaineer. Trickster, organizer, good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Uh, if you can get to San Luis Potosoli? Potosoli? Potosi. Potosi. I don't know. I don't speak this language. I'm very not Spanish oriented. Oh, we actually have some divisions down there. Go ahead and don't do anything there. Oh, nice. We took it. Nice. Very good. Anything. Come down here as well. Because we're going to try to. Just, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and just crush that one division. They can't do anything about that. Great. Oh, we actually have three military factories, but we definitely need more metal. If anything, I want more planes. I don't need more factories at the moment. I just need more, like, metal. That's all I need. Just more metal. Begin a scavenging program. Uh, with our current political power, we can't really do much. We can still get Petro Chico Inc. Definitely need to get a war economy at very least partial mobilization. Captain of Industry, not bad. Fortification experts, okay. War industrialist is okay. Military staff. Oh, we still have subroutines. Nice. That's not bad. Oh, Evander Franklin. More artillery, logistics, air combat. All right, well, got some interesting stuff that we... Plan for the future. Plan for the good old future. Oh, my goodness. How dare you take that from me? How dare you? We honestly probably need to redo this line. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then we'll try to do a fairly good push. Oh, and New Vegas Clear War on the Fiends. Nice. Right, so Kaiser's at war with Pecos Colony. New Vegas has kind of split between the Fiends, but they'll probably be okay. The NCR is very thick. Very thick. Love it. Oh, they're attacking us, but can they beat us? They might be able to. Jaguar Warriors. Not bad. What is the strength of Zapata? Because I think he's the weakest one out of everyone. Not a lot of manpower. Not a ton of divisions. Santa Ana has quite a few divisions, quite a bit of manpower, and the Rio Grande up north has quite a bit of manpower and a few divisions. It'd probably be best for us to take out Zapata as soon as possible. I don't want them to get too strong. Yeah, for you guys, just go ahead and push. I'll give them a little bit of an extra bonus. This might give us a little bit more army XP, which would be great, and I have some coffee here, so drink up. So yeah, I'll let you know that even though I publish these videos at... 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm definitely not up before 6 a.m. to make these videos. I usually make them the day before, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't know. It's just easiest for me, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is when some people wake up. Nice, alright, so... Out of the... If we can look at the score on the left, it's really me and then Santa Anne who did most of the work. So, everyone, give me everything you have, because this is fair. And I'm totally not using player like Peace Conferences. Thank you for your scores. So let's make sure that we give everyone an appropriate amount of uh, territory. So I'm going to take San Luis because I deserve it. And then I'm going to say that our brother Zapata, here on the left, Eresio Liber Liberta Liberator Libertador del Sur, will get the very important lands of radioactive tear and this area that they'll never touch. So. They can have that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and Petro Chico, I like Petro Chico, so I'm going to give him this, and I'm going to take Leon, because that wouldn't make any sense for Santa Ana to get that, so there we go. Fair and balanced, like everything should be. Very nice. Good job, guys. Alright, so now that leaves us with this. This giant mess. Um, Actually, you know what? Hmm, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna do this. You guys, actually, oh, that worked out perfectly. You have up to 24 divisions. We want to go to war with these guys, Zapata. We want to make sure they won't last very long, and we're gonna divide the country in half up here. That'll be good. We got six army XP. Great. 
And I definitely need more generals. Oof. Oh my goodness. So, my plan is, I'm pretty sure, I, like I said earlier, I played this a little bit before. Actually, yesterday. But, Santa Ana. He will go to war, most likely, with the Republic of the Rio Grande. In which we will be able to as well. And actually, I think there's some sort of glitch going on. Because they're only doing continuous focuses, even though they need to be going... They did Dante's Inferno, but they can't do the True North Strong, because they need to complete Vindicta. And the leader currently is Dante Guerra, so there's a there's a little bit of a bug here. They can't do this, because they can't do Vindicta, because they can't do um, this, because Dante Guerra is the leader, but he's not, but he actually is. So, this is one of the rare times I'm actually going to use console commands right now, so we're going to... Uh, Make sure that at least the Republic of the Rio Grande can continue their quest, or at least their focus tree for now. So let's tag over to RRG. Oh, no, thank you. Close that out. Army training. We're going to do focus.autocomplete. So this way it'll finish up for them. Focus. No checks. Gotta love console commands. Vindicta, let them do that. And tag max. We're back. There you go. And everything else should be good. I hope. Hope I didn't screw anything up there. But at least the Republic of the Rio Grande can actually do something besides just doing a continuous focus, because that's kind of boring. Uh, maybe if I don't look at them, maybe it'll do something. Cool. Just because I noticed that yesterday that they were stuck on continuous focus when they were in a war with Santa Ana, so that wasn't really cool. Okay, so now they're doing more of their focus view, which is kind of nice. The Matador... The Bulls final Yare Peo. Cool. So I guess that's another bug as well. Just with every update, with, you know, every update, there's always some sort of bugs to be found. Alright, so right now we're using Imperial Guards. They're not bad. They're only 13 and a half combat width, which I don't really understand because light robots are two combat width each. And heavy robots are two combat width each as well. So really, we should only have 12 combat width. Which makes no sense. So, yeah, that's six. Armor, let's go... So, actually, the combat width for heavy combat robots are it's actually two and a half. That's something that the game doesn't actually tell you. That's interesting to know. Very interesting, actually. Since we're going to use robots quite a bit, I'm just going to add on more combat robots or support robots. This will give us more organization. Obviously, supply will go up no matter what. Production cost goes way up. More energy cell usage as well as capacity. Um, obviously, the combat robots will give us ten, about ten more hard attack, soft attack. I mean, ten more soft attack. A little bit more breakthrough, which is good. If you go with support robots, you do get more hardness, which is interesting. Um, and you get more, slightly more armor, just ever so slightly more armor. I mean. I don't want supply to be too bad, but just it's it's so small. The difference between these two is so small. Uh, what's my stockpile like right now? We got plenty of support robots for combat robots. We actually have quite a bit. I'm gonna go with support robots just because we have more of those. So let's do that. It's 15 combat width. If I add in two and a half more, that would raise it to 18. So I can add in one more heavy combat or combat robot, and then add in one more support robot. So that would be good to flesh those guys out. Very nice. Very awesome. Let's let the time go on because I've been talking too much about one thing. Great stuff. Oh, he's level 2. Nice. Or Erza. Ezra. Ezra. That actually might be his name. Miguel will be great in what he does as we just kind of let time go on have a good time with each other. Yeah, definitely get rid of this civilian economy. What am I building? I don't really need forts since we've kind of already cleared the area around here. So I think we'll be okay without it for now. But thank you very much, Moctezuma, for playing. Uh, your contributions to this game have been noted, and no one's going to remember you. Sorry. Oh, well. Um, you know what? Tlaloc Lair, not bad. I mean, if we run out of space to build, like, factories, I'm just going to build more infrastructure and maybe an outpost. Actually, that might not be a bad idea, but we really don't have a good enough border for me to really defend against the Chichen Itza, because I'm worried about this. This is going to be one big battle, so. Light robots. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, do we actually have more? No. No, maybe we don't. Cool. Hmm, scavenge. That really doesn't help us too much right now. Oh, good. The Imperial God. 
The Emperor cannot rely upon robots alone. It's time to develop the Imperial Army. Uh, but what we want to do is also do revenge on the Republic so we can get claims against the Republic of the Rio Grande. Actually, that'll be very important to do. We could get the coronation, but let's do revenge on the Republic. Benito Juarez may be long gone, but there's still Republicans in Mexico who resist Maximilian's just enlightened rule. We should do something about them. So we'll take those guys out if we can. Ooh, do we have a upgrade? Let's let time go on first. Petro Chico Air. That's not bad. Close air support production and range and more ground attack is really good. But this will give you more ground... Plus 10% reliability and ground attack for close air support planes, which isn't bad. 5% though, this helps you build things, build things faster, they have better range, they get a little more ground attack, and they're cheaper to produce, which is probably better. Mm, and I like the Petro Chico one just because it gives you boosts to fighters as well as close air support. So I like having both upgrades. So that's not bad. I'll do that eventually, but I definitely want to get out of civilian economy first. Oh, and besides that, get to research focus as well. That'd be important. But we do have a little bit more uh, army XP now. That's good. Let's see. Can I add one more heavy robot and then a support robot? Yes, we can. That is only 20 combat width. That is not bad. 40% hardness. Breakthrough went up by 23. More soft attack. Uh, armor goes up to 27.6. I like that. 400 HP. 51 organization. This should be pretty decent. Obviously, it's not going to be good as uh, power armor, but whatever. Oh, Pecos Colony was annexed. We got industrial fertilizer. We have a brig. The Free Fighters cleared one. The Beltran Levia Cartel. Ah, uh, Mexico. What is going on with you? Uh, resources. Actually, we could probably use some better resource efficiency gain. We are done with our land doctrine. Better pause it before I forget. Hmm. Planes. Planes I think we're doing okay on. Don't really need to do too much about that at the moment. The AI doesn't really use it. I, I think I said before, I'm probably going to use... Uh, ballistic weaponry. It's slightly cheaper. You're not really focused on piercing too much. You get slightly better breakthrough, which is more important in my opinion. It, it's a little bit more reliable. You get the same soft attack and defense. So I'm probably just going to go with elite weaponry. But actually, before we do that, what upgrades do we want for our robots? More hardness? Hard attack? Soft attack? Break? Oh, give me that breakthrough. I don't want to lose any robots. That'd be terrible if I did. But... Uh, you guys are actually doing okay. I thought I changed your combat width. Oh, I did. And some of you are affected. We have some Guardia Divisions. 14 combat width. Not ideal. But we have 11 army XP, so I'm going to throw something on here. Soft attack. Fire teams would be good. Logistics would be good as well. Let's go with fire teams just because we get more soft attack and defense. A little bit of defense. But uh, these will be good for... Even more breakthrough. Actually, recon. Actually, recon might be better. Actually, they're all good. They're actually all good. I'm going to throw on recon just because I really like recon. And I'm not going to throw any support equipment onto my robots. Because that would just ruin all their other stats for hardness and piercing. Ah, so. Um, yeah. Pretty good stuff. I've been doing pretty well myself. I hope you guys are doing pretty well wherever you guys may be. I uh, was just talking to people on Discord yesterday and having a good time with them. Talking to one of the main guys on this channel. Ooh, we can war goal for Re Republic of the Rio Grande. We're going to go with the Immigration Commission to people of the waste who will flock to Maximilian's Utopia. He is so thoughtful that even pay those who bring him new subjects. Decisions to purchase manpower and industrial resources from kind-hearted peoples of the waste. So yeah, I was on Discord just talking to people. Talking to Hata Pelegrim, which is what we say in English, but I guess in Ukrainian. Or whatever language, it's Ukrainian. But, uh, Hata Pela Grama, Hata Pela Zrem, Hata Pela Zrama, Zrema. I, I can't speak Ukrainian, so. Either way, he, he's a great individual, great, great, great individual who's helped me out so much so far. So I really say thank you very much to Hata there for helping me out. Um, yeah, I still can't pronounce your name, sorry. Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, actually, we had the war go against the Rio Grande. But I'm not going to do that yet because I'm pretty sure Santa Ana has got some business to do with the Rio Grande as well. And I want them to struggle against each other. I want both of these sides to get really weakened as I take out Zapata. Take out Zapata. And then take out both sides over here as well. So this way, on our western border, we won't hopefully have too much to deal with. But we'll see what happens, of course. Ooh. Get some more decryption. Get more encryption. And then get some more research speed. Thank you very much. And besides, we don't have a expiration on our war goal against the Rio Grande. 
And it'll, it's about 40 days until we can go to war with these guys. Oh, like I said before, though, these guys. Zapata, now they have more manpower than me, but they don't have a ton of divisions. I definitely have more than them, which is good for us. And it looks like they might barely have enough divisions to guard their borders. That's why I put all seven divisions over here. So we can strike across and cut the capital off away from everyone else. Which will be important. Nice. Even more robots. Throw them on there. Two divisions. Throw you... In the south would be okay, I think. Or, not throw them on the south. Immigration Commission. Nice. Uh, let's see. Motorized. Robotics. N new nobility, which would be good, actually. Combat robot and support robot production costs. Let's go with... Hmm. Friends of the tribes. Ooh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Let's go to the coronation. So, Maximilian is the emperor of Mexico despite what his subjects say. A ceremony where they must gather to watch an, ass an assault tron place a crown on a secure tron. Presenting Maximilian will only persuade them further. Pretty good stability and war support. Nice. Hmm. Coffee is good stuff. And... Yeah... I guess I have them on my phone here. The eBay app? I guess that was probably packaged when I got my phone. Sometimes they send you coupons or coupons about buying stuff. I'm like, I don't have that much money, man. I can't just buy whatever, whenever I want. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ask Santa Ana to bring more immigrants. I lose political power, they get political power, and I get 300 more manpower. Yeah, I could use more manpower, but... I'll do this eventually. I want to save up my stuff for... War economy or whatever, actually. Yeah, there's really not much else we can do. Pelox Lair, yeah, I don't really need that. Um, San Luis Potosi Leon, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Cool. I'm really waiting for these guys to go kill each other, though. That's what I really want to see. Pointing to Alm right. I'm getting a call from somebody I don't know. I don't know that area code. Is it important? Probably not. It's probably someone just trying to sell me insurance or something. I get those calls all the time. Just like, advertisement calls are just free to pick up. It's just very annoying. Very, very annoying. Uh, infantry stuff. More breakthrough. That's just... Breakthrough sometimes is a stat that people overlook that's very important if you don't want to take a lot of losses. Oh, I love breakthrough. Alright, let's get us to the war... As fast... I need to get a war against the Pata as fast as possible so that we can take him up before it becomes too strong. Okay, so earlier it said he had 18 to 29 divisions. Oh, oh, hello there. Remnants of Petro Chico Corp has been declared war upon by the Chichen Itzen Empire. So they have less divisions than I thought. 12, between 12 and 28. Red shirt. Alright, oh, we got enough political power, enough PP. Um, there's more than 40% world tension. War economy, how many more days until we go to war with Zapata? Because I might as well just wait. Oh, pff, one day. Just wait. wait. There you go. There you go. So, uh, guys, stop training. That'll be good. That'll be glorious. Let these guys prepare themselves. Get ready to go. We have the coronation. We will have peace, prosperity, and order. Maximilian promises his people peace, order, and good government in exchange for their acquiescence. To his rule, they avoid wandering bands of raiders, functional power, and the best surveillance in the wasteland. What's not to like? I love police states. Wait, oh, I mean, good government. Yeah, I love good government. Awesome, these guys are ready to go. They have their planning all the way done. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's a little bit ahead of time. I don't want to do that. Robotics. More soft attack, please, and let us go to war with Zapata. Ah, uh, he may have more manpower, but we have better heart. Better heart. More strength. And now we can go to... Ah, oh, we can go to total mobilization. I don't think I need that. Let's go to war economy. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we do have, of course, level 5 radar out of 3. Because of Tlaloc. Bless his heart. Soul. Whatever he had in his circuitry. Do that. Take off, like, 3, and then come up here, and then... And then do that. Everyone else hold. Oh, pff, wow. That infantry could not do anything. Good. Come on, Santa Ana. Go to war with those guys. Pointing the... Almirante. Where is that? Admiral Santa Ana becomes a naval commander. Admiral? He was an admiral? I thought he was a general. Very good. Once we do this, this will make the people here panic. We're getting attacked. They can't really do very much. Nice. Yeah, you keep trying. 
You keep trying, Zapata. I knew you were going to backstab me bef before too long, so that's why I backstabbed you. Nothing but backs and stabbing. Ah, very good coffee. Tasty, great. These guys are panicking now, which is exactly what we wanted. Ooh, they actually want to beat us back. Oh, that's cool. Charles Pender. Huh. Awesome. Yeah, if they try to beat us back a little bit, they might be able to. They might not. So, this is what we're going to do. We got nine divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten divisions that we need to guard the north. So, we can't really do very much at the moment. Just kind of guard our places. These guys will starve for some supplies. They do have some supplies coming through these small little settlements. But, uh, nothing like what I can take and do against you. Go ahead, begin the death of Zapata and his nation. We will not accept communists here. No revolutionaries, no anarchists, no Maoists. We bring you good government in the name of a robot. These guys won't be able to do anything against us. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm, I'm not I'm purposely not attacking up here. I'm going to attack up here once this lower section is crushed. Because there's really no rush for me. I mean, these guys are going to kill each other and... You're on construction engineering? Um, okay, well. I thought you still had stuff you could do. Oh. Very nice. Unfortunate. They'll go to war, hopefully, with each other soon enough. And that's why I still have my divisions on the border here. So, next up is the Ministry of Justice. So we lose some, a little, just a small amount of stability in exchange for... Uh... Consumer goods. So, Maximilian is looking out for his people of Mexico. No longer will people get away with banditry, murder, or jaywalking. Oh, I guess jaywalking is completely illegal here. All right, let's go ahead and make your way downtown. Awesome. Oh, you took the supply base. That's good. That's good stuff. If we can take Aguascalientes, it's over for them. They can try to get supplies in here, but it's just over. Alright, my friends, make your way this way, make your way this way. Just come through here. And do that. Oh, some more free military factories. Thank you. I don't need this. I just need more metal. Oh, oh, we can make a brig. Uh, brig? This is a capital ship, and the Trerame is a capital ship as well. Why are we building this when we can't even do it? We have no progress, so we're going to go with the brig. Beautiful. Uh, I don't want to tell you guys to go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's only July. God, where did the time go? Good God. Come down that way. You guys, come over here and make your way up here if you can. Good. Um, Send, like, one division down here. Because if you can get that one tile, it's all over. It's all ogre for them, man. I don't really need to ask for more stuff. Focus on the Eternal Sphere. Get more weekly stability in exchange for war support, which wouldn't be smart for us. Uh, Chico Air, we might as well do that. Production costs, we can maybe build some faster, even though that really doesn't matter for us. Cool. Up north, they still have quite a few divisions. I'm sure we can punch a hole through somewhere here, but it won't really matter too much. I'm very surprised, though, that these guys haven't gone to war yet. I think they will. They should soon. United Door Academy. Training the army. Well, whatever. Nice. Rook camps. Get more hardness. Get a sentry bot. That'll be really good. Going to do that. Going to take these guys out. Do that. Going to do that. Do that. Imperial guards. I love the Imperial guards. I love the Republic. I love democracy. Mm -hmm. yeah, Going to do that as well. Very good, very good. Just mop these guys up. Oh, you actually have an upgrade. Ezra? Oh, Panzer Leader. Defense. Combined arms. Well, I don't really use motorized or mechanized in this game, or at least this current campaign. So I don't see a point of doing that. Actually, go ahead and t take these guys out. If you do this, they're all dead. They're basically literally all dead. Very nice, very nice. And make your way up there. The Ministry of Justice. Very nice. Drain the Valley. Let's do Imperial Stores. The Emperor Maximilian 
abolished Hacienda stores, a system that forced Mexican peons to buy only from their landlords. Why not go one step further and let only people buy from the just, efficient imperial stores? Oh my goodness. We are for the people, whether the people like it or not. Oh, God dang it, it's already half an hour? I will end this episode in about five minutes, but I want to finish up Zapata first. Oh my goodness, you are trapped, you are encircled. This is beautiful. And I'm very surprised these guys have not gone to war yet. Come on. Come on, Santa Ana, do something. The Matador, the Matador Academy, not Economy, but Academy. Cool. Oh, oh, Kaiser's Legion declared war New Vegas. That's a that's a lot of New Vegas, actually. But fighting Kaiser? Because New Vegas is part of the NCR. Yeah, with the Desert Rangers. And the Nevada Pact actually has New Reno and Klamath in it. That's interesting. That's a little different. This is going to blow up into something bigger. But it looks like New Vegas is winning the war so far against Kaiser's Legion. But this is the beginning. Oh, and the NCR is probably war them now, too. Now that's one big daddy war. Oh, baby. Cool. Alright, my friends. Go ahead and readjust yourselves. Because we will make sure Zapata will never see the light of day again. Actually, you know what? Don't even do this. Do it like this. Concentrate forces across the entire border. And actually, I'm going to need another General Augustus Bragg. Nice. Miniaturized circuitry. Do offensive a doctrine for more attack. And then... Robotics. More heart attack. Give it three seconds. Three. Two. One. Execute. Yeah, we can't pierce them, but they definitely can't pierce us. Oh, love it. Benjamin Chipman, you were chose the wrong side. Oh, look at that circuitry. The energy cells are going down. But that's alright. We'll be done here before too long. Very good, very good. A few a few more days. This is good for our, uh, getting more army XP anyway, so no worries, my friends. No worries. Ah, Imperial stores. Very good. Oh, we actually have some planes! We actually have some planes, finally. Definitely want to have at least 100. Uh, I mean, if you can, do that. And for monoplanes, we only have three, but that's okay. Oh, they can actually do ground attack. That's interesting. You know what? Um, do this, do that. Both of you just come to this guy. Yeah, do that. Why not? And we'll, we'll, the last focus we'll choose for this one, the London Bank of Mexico. So, Maximilian let British financers set up one of Mexico's first banks during his reign. Why not let everyone in Mexico store their money with Maximilian? In fact, why not force everyone to store it for their own good? Ah, oh, good government. I love it. I love good government. Government by the people... Well, for the people, because they were told to love Maximilian. All right. You know what? Just go ham. The enemy robots, they're inferior robots. We are superior robots. They are inferior untermensch, some would say. Oh, my goodness. Um, the south. Eh, just throw some more divisions on there. Speed it up a little bit. It is quite laggy, but probably not as bad as Kaiserreich. Good. Losses, 36 losses versus 3,000. I love it. We have 59 divisions while they have, at most, 8. Oh, this is, this is so good for army XP. Guardia, go ahead and get throw on two fire teams. Drastically increase your soft attack as well as defense. And a little bit more breakthrough and more HP. That's good stuff. Oh, now that's a sexy infantry division. And throw on... Demolition. I need to do some uh, demo stuff. Soft attack, logistics. Yeah, throw in a fire team. You're worth it, my infantry. You are worth it. Hmm, seize on patriotism. Eh. Very nice. Oh, look at that army XP going up slightly. Alright, Torion. Torion is ours. Great. We took out one of our former brothers because we knew he was going to backstab us. Oh. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. We can add stuff to Chico Net, which will cost quite a bit of electricity. 20 electricity. But uh, we do that. Base value already from Connected States. We have... Uh, if we try to that somewhere else, that will still cost 40. Oh, man, that's a lot. 
But anyways, we just cored one state. Nice, we took out one of our brothers. We don't have a ton of manpower, but that's okay. We'll get more manpower in the long run. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this episode. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Kaiser invaded Baja, California. Join my Discord down in the link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow as we will watch, hopefully, Santa Ana go to war with the Republic of the Rio Grande and for us to backstab them both. Thank you very much for watching.